Now all new at 5 o'clock, is medical marijuana the answer to the opioid epidemic? It's legal in 29 states, including here in Florida, and a new report could bolster advocates' claims that legalizing medical marijuana could curb the nation's drug crisis. Here's CBS 4's Kenneth Craig. Christine Stenquist suffered through a brain tumor, fibromyalgia, and debilitating headaches. Chronic pain, which led to 45 different prescription drugs. Migraines were just constant. So they started me on a lot of pharmaceuticals, and that went on for about 16 years. Between the pain and the opioids, the mother of four was left bedridden. Eventually, she decided to give medical marijuana a try. This is just a whole different lifestyle. I'm eating healthier, I'm more active, more alert. Stenquist is one of a growing number of Americans who've traded in their powerful and addictive painkillers for the green alternative. Research in the Journal of the American Medical Association shows in states where medical marijuana is legal, opioid overdose deaths are down as much as 25%. When we're looking at tools to combat the opiate crisis, it's amazing that medical cannabis is a tool that we can use. Steph Shear is the founder of Americans for Safe Access. At the heart of all of our challenges, we have the fact that, that the federal government sees cannabis as something that is more dangerous than methamphetamines or, or cocaine. The DEA still warns of a high potential for abuse, and Attorney General Jeff Sessions has described marijuana as only slightly less awful than heroin. I reject the idea that we're going to be better placed if we have more marijuana. Dr. Carlo Rosati Vasquez treats pain patients and disagrees. I've had patients that since they have been using their vaporizers with cannabis, for example, they've decreased their use in Ambien, they've decreased their use on clonazepam, on Percocet. Within six months, I was driving. Within eight months, I was trying to figure out how to pass a law in my state. But Stenquist knows in her home state of Utah that could be an uphill battle. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. Deaths from prescription painkillers have more than quadrupled since 1999. According to the CDC, 91 Americans die every day from opioid overdoses.